Mill Standard 1553 is a military-grade avionics bus created over 40 years ago by the United States Department of Defense. First employed in the F-16 fighter, it has since become a widely adopted data bus used in a variety of military and civilian applications for flight, land, sea, and even in space. Why is 1553 so popular? Because it's simple, deterministic, and reliable. Like all avionics buses, the goal of 1553 is to move data reliably. 1553 messages consist of up to 32 16-bit words. There are three major components of the system. A bus controller, or BC, which is usually part of the mission computer. Remote terminals, known as RTs, and sub-addresses that might be a missile launcher or an instrument giving input to the mission computer. And the bus monitor, which passively allows you to monitor the flow of data. The BC is the only part of the system that can initiate a data transfer. This leads to 1553's reliability because there are no bus contentions with multiple controllers trying to transmit data. It's military grade, meant for life critical applications. It has a simple, provable design and redundancy for safety. The bus consists of two sides, commonly labeled A and B. If a reply does not come back in a fixed amount of time from side A, the command is sent on the other side of the bus, side B. 1553 uses a fixed set of commands. The most common are BC to RT, which means the bus controller is going to send data to a remote terminal. For example, a command to fire a missile. The command RT to BC is a request to have the RT send data to the bus controller. For example, information from an avionics instrument. There is also an RT to RT command. This is used when the bus controller commands one RT to get ready to receive data, then commands another RT to transmit the data to the receiving RT. Now that we've covered these commands, let's take a look at how they are transmitted. MIL Standard 1553 comes with a built-in scheduler. This scheduler consists of a major frame and multiple minor frames, allowing you to talk to different RTs at different frequencies. Imagine a scenario where you have an instrument that you need to talk to once a second, another instrument five times a second, and a third at 10 times a second. How could you set this up? So for the first RT, you put in one minor frame. If you need to talk to a second RT at five times a second, you put in five minor frames. And the third RT at 10 times a second, you put in 10 minor frames. You're not limited to one, five, or 10. You can put in any number of minor frames for a particular RT. Let's take a look at some of the common commands that could be transmitted by the bus controller. Here is the sequence of events for a BC to RT command. And here is the sequence of events for the RT to BC command. And here is the sequence of events for the RT to RT command. If we actually take a look at the signal on the bus, looking at the lower two lines, you'll see the bits are half high and half low. This is known as Manchester encoding. All this adds up to an avionics bus renowned for its simplicity and its reliability. The only component in the 1553 system that controls all data transfers is the bus controller, which is tied to the mission computer. It has dual buses for redundancy and safety, side A and B, and a fixed response time for all replies. One of the most popular variations of MIL standard 1553 is A-Ring 708. A-Ring 708 is based on the same physical lines and encoding as MIL standard 1553. But 708 is used for weather radar. The length of the data words is the primary difference between the two. Messages in A-Ring 708 are much longer given the amount of information a radar image may have. It also allows data to transmit on both sides of the bus at the same time. Looking toward the future, 1553 is in no danger of being phased out. 
New applications like unmanned aerial vehicles and smart bombs all take advantage of the deterministic, redundant, low latency 1553 architecture. And new specifications are emerging to extend 1553, like faster bit rates to allow more data to go through the system, a must for next generation equipment. Not bad for a piece of technology that's over 40 years old and going strong. Learn more about technology and UEI products at www.ueidaq.com.